Hey everybody, I'm Argolfump, the Nancy Drew dude, and I need to find some way to fix this this lantern. Okay, it needs to be fixed. Do I use do I use something else with it? Okay, I must, if the game says I do. Oil and matches. This I mean this looks like a really broken lantern. I'm not sure fixing it is the best idea. However, the game um wants me to. I have to break this glass. Those are very sharp shards. Oh, uh, why can't I just use the the, the the end of the lock pick or the hammer? Oh jeez. The countess, is she alive? Is she gonna attack me? I don't know. I need a life. That's gotta be a trap. That's gotta be one of those silly traps, right? She can't still be alive, right? She's not gonna kill me. Right? Oh, I don't know. And that is a fancy, fancy lock for a storage shed. Okay, now that I have mittens, I can I can reach inside here. I wonder what that red blanket is for. Now I've got a repaired lantern. Okay, let's see. Dramatic music! Shows me it's just a trap. Very dangerous though, very dangerous. Gotta gotta disable it somehow. Do I have anything to disable it? No, I do not. Okay, these things needed to be cut back. Really? I can't just cut them? I cannot. I cannot. That is that is silliness and loudness. Okay, we finally got away from that angry loud music. Back in time for a hidden objects challenge, right? There's something behind the curtain. Ah, yes, more hidden items. I guess I'll just have to wing it. <laughs> Oh, that's beautiful. And I found a mermaid, too. That's cute. Paul, if you love me, do the impossible. Grow fur vines with lilies on them. Impress me. Wow. Paul, jeez. Like... I'm not sure why you were in love with somebody who made such mean demands like that. Okay, I'm gonna water this tree. And the bolt cutter. Let's see, I need to find a way to help this raven. I'm still a little unsure, I put the blanket on it? How does that make the raven happy? That seems a bit strange to me. Oh well. No, seriously, that does seem strange to me. I don't understand. Anyway, I'm putting those there to get some pruners, and those will be for cutting those down. With the right tool, I can cut them, like a bolt cutter. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. And that gives me... What did that do? I'm not 100% sure. Oh, it, it undid the doll trap. Okay, that's what it did. Okay, so let's see how many screens we've got here. Four, as I predicted. I thought there would be four screens inside this castle, and I was right. My love, you're so beautiful when you play the violin. I think, I beg you, think of me. Think of me when you touch the noble violin to your cheek. That's not at all what he sounded like, by the way. He was, he was angry and evil. He was not happy and lovey-dovey. I do like this. It's just find all the musical instruments. That's an interesting challenge. And I have no idea what I'm finding. Frame part? What frame? This thing? I'm gonna have to use a hint. This thing is a frame part. Okay. It's good to know. Looks like she was a musician. That looks like a flame on the raven's breast, but why? I don't know. That is dirty. I need to clean it. I need a tool to tighten the strings. I certainly do. And yes, I do need to get to the library with my hidden... Let me make sure there's nothing left for me here. There is something left for me here. 
Some pegs are missing. I have the pegs. That loosens the strings, so I can use a screwdriver. Anything else for me here? Yes, there is. I want to make sure I solve all these puzzles before moving on to the next screen. You know, just trying to be extra careful. This is rusty. I'll have to pry it open with the screwdriver. There's no way this tuning fork gets used elsewhere besides this room, right? I still need a, uh, I still need something to tighten the strings. Okay. I'm finally finished this room for now. Oh. <laughs> and this is dark. Okay, great. Hmm. This library it looks like it was just a musical instrument library. Here's the count. Spying on Paul and Liss together. I wanted to live forever for you and love you forever, but now I'll make you suffer. The potion of youth is a failure. It just turns you into a baby. Well, maybe it could be good for somebody who wants to, to reset button on life. I mean, the question is, does this person remember everything from their former life, or do they just go back to being a baby and not remembering anything? That'd be kind of rough. But on the other hand, you could probably find a way to make that work. You know, instead of going into retirement, or, you know, use my retirement money to pay for my new life so I can have a double retirement, I don't know if that makes sense. Yeah, anyway. I am so not touching that monster. I've got fireplace tongs, so I am moving it aside. I made the potion of youth, but to save both Paul and Liz, I'll have to make another one. Five differences? What am I doing here? Okay, we need to click on the five things which are different from one side of the screen to the other. Okay, so this is Raymond, who did not have a curly mustache, thank you. He made the potion of youth. He doesn't have glasses. I use this blueprints to build a divining bell. A few more and I'll be ready to dive to the bottom of the pond and give the potion to Paul. I need to hurry. Philip saw me going into the castle. He thinks I'm finding treasure. I just just need a little bit more time. Mm, let's see. Oh no! They're here, my potion. No. So I guess I need to make the potion of youth again. And that book is totally falling apart. It's just a messy book. I've got glue, though. Yeah, it doesn't surprise me that Philip is secretly a mean villain. Actually, it doesn't surprise me in the slightest. Okay, I'm gonna wet this sponge here. This woman is waiting for her captain. Well, here's part of the picture. I need to find the other part. Let's see. I'll use the wet sponge to clean this off. I'll put the two frame parts into place. That's the secret code, I see. And I've got my three books, so let's actually use these books. I can't use it right now. Okay, I put the instructions in place. Then I solve this puzzle. Put the books in place, then pull the cat. I didn't really need instructions for that. I could have figured out that the red book goes in the red spot, right? Ooh, one of these puzzles. I like it. Okay, put all the pieces in place to completely fill the board. Okay, generally with these puzzles, what you want to do is start with the largest pieces first. Mm, let's see, that can't be it. Yes, this might be it. Booyah! Oh, round two, everyone. Round two. Those things go together so perfectly. Okay, this has to go there. That has to go there. Yeah, there we go. I mean, this is a giant piece, and there's really only two spots it goes. Here or there. If it goes here on the right, there's no pieces I can put into place here. It just doesn't work. So it has to go here into place on the left. 
So, let's see. What can I put down there in that corner? Maybe that. Yep, those two pieces go together pretty perfectly. That's good. Um, let's see. This piece can only go in a few spots. That looks like a very perfect spot for it. So I put it there. That was a neat puzzle. Alright, so I can't do anything without a recipe. I've got a recipe. So, set the fire. Something related to water. That is not an empty bottle. That bottle has stuff in it. <laughs> okay, the right symbol will open this. There are two portraits here, but now the medallion is empty. Let's see. It looks like something left inside here. Oh yeah, I have the tuning tool. What song to play? This song. Five, three, seven. A beautiful song. I just don't know what it is. Ah, now we have access to a new area. Oh, close, close to here. Basically where Paul was attacked. I mean, Paul was attacked here. Wow. So Raymond was really making... When the curse of the Count finally hit the Countess, her lover, Paul, sacrificed himself to share her burden. They both disappeared into the depths, but as the symbol of their undying love, two crimson lotuses bloomed on the water's surface. That's basically the ending of the game. You, you, you remember that? wasn't too long ago. Okay, so this is the pond where Raymond found the medallion. He was actually planning to go deep into the pond and try to help save his brother. That's really, really nice of him, considering his brother tried to kill me multiple times. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. Who do we blame for this? Do we blame Paul? Do we blame the Countess? Maybe we could blame both of them. They both have some blame they could take for this. What am I doing wrong here? I'm putting water. I'm filling this thing with water. Okay. I'm filling this thing with water and taking a step back. Now let's explore this area. This is a really, really complicated... Really complicated thing. A star-shaped screw. I've never seen one of those before. some items. Still need some sort of way to, um, you know, get something out of that. I've got my magnet, right. That's smart. I still wanted to, to find a way to, uh, to cut it open, but apparently that's not important, so I'll just forget that. Paul, I wanted to give you something. The first part of my gift is a toy ship you made for me, and the second part's near the pond. It's a symbol of our love. Oh, and we needed a symbol of their love in order to help fix this. This is a place for a fire emblem, perhaps? No, Earth Emblem. There we go. Okay, Earth Emblem. Yeah, that makes more sense. Oh, that thing fell apart because it was in the water too long. How do I reach the toy boat with a grappling hook? <laughs> I just like pulling the random vines. That's cool. Okay, so pulling the vines gives a portrait of her and then these yellow gems, which is sweet. Yeah, these papers are totally disintegrated. How do we figure out which paper goes where? Oh, I guess the papers are just kind of rotating naturally when I put them in place. And those are the four I need. I don't need everything, I just need those four. Okay, this hose is still clogged with leaves and I still need to put um, the portraits here. There were two portraits there. This is the thing with the yellow gems. There's the second portrait. That should be a symbol of their love. That should be lovey-dovey enough for the lotus, right? It's lovey-dovey enough for me. 